Make your enemies fight themselves. Put confusion in their midst. Put enmity between them. By doing this, you are preparing a battlefield for them. And they will continue to fight themselves, forgetting about you. They will fight themselves. They will keep on fighting and fighting. And they will forget all about you. That energy they usually use to torment you. That energy they usually use to trouble you. They are going to use the energy on their self. Just cross your leg and see how they will keep on fighting their self after doing this. Cross your leg and watch and you'll be surprised. Hello beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, you're most welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Grace. Welcome to Testimony Empire. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this space of mine, we pray to the Lord. We pray together in order to get speedy answers. We bring our problems to the Lord. And he has always been faithful to us by giving us solutions to our problems. I also share spiritual tips, amazing spiritual tips that will work wonders in your life. If you follow the necessary procedures, then you come back and testify. Because this is a testimony empire. We are always testifying to the goodness of the Lord. Be a part of this family by subscribing to this channel. Put on the notification bell so that whenever I publish new videos, you'll be notified and you come and watch. Give this video a thumbs up as you're watching this video. Give it a thumbs up so that other people can get to watch it. And don't forget to share this video. So back to what today's video is all about. Today's video is a powerful spiritual tip. I want to share with you a powerful spiritual tip that will cause battle between your enemies. That will cause confusion between your enemies. Today's spiritual tip is very powerful. That strength that they are using to battle against you, that strength that they are using to torment you, that they are using to frustrate you, they are going to use that strength on their self. They are going to fight their self. You just cross your leg and watch and see the way they will tear their self apart and see the way they will keep on fighting. Yes, that is what today's spiritual tip is all about. It is a powerful spiritual tip. Don't joke with it. So, if you know that you want to put enmity between your enemies, you want to cause great battles between them, if you want your enemies to keep on fighting each other, you want to cause confusion between them, this spiritual work is for you. For this spiritual work, just get one onion. Get one onion, get a sheet of paper and write the name of your enemy. Onion has a lot of spiritual benefits. It is more than spices. It can be used to get rid of negative energies. It can be used to do back to sender spiritual work. It can be used for protection. You can watch this video to know more about the spiritual benefit of onion. So that I won't take much of your time. So get one onion, get a sheet of paper and write the name of your enemies. If you know their names, write it down. You know, some enemies are very bold. Like some enemies, they, they, they are very bold. They will say it to your face that they are the one responsible for your predicament. What did you want to do? Some enemies are very bold. They will say it to your face. I am responsible for this. I am responsible for that. What did you want to do? Because they seize you as a nobody. They seize you as if you cannot do anything. So some enemies are very bold. They will let you know that they are the one behind all your problems. So if you know that kind of people, you know them as, they are, as your enemies, you can write down their names. And for those ones that you don't know their names, those ones that come to you with masks, some enemies will come to you making use of masks to cover their face. Some enemies will come making use of another person's face. In case of this kind of situation that you don't know their names, but you know that somebody is troubling you. You know that somebody is frustrating you. Just get a sheet of paper and write any man or woman tormenting me. This is mine. This is how I wrote mine. Any man or woman tormenting me. Because some of the enemies, you won't know their names. So, if you know their names, write it down. If you don't know their names, write any man or woman tormenting me. Any man or woman frustrating me. Any man or woman creating havoc in my life. Then you fold it like this, fold the sheet of paper like this, fold it very well. When you have fold the paper, you are going to cut the onions. Please cut it this way. Please don't cut it like this. Just cut it this way. 
like this. Don't remove it. Just leave it like this. Just like this. Don't open it, finish. Then you put that paper, that paper that you wrote your enemy's name, put it inside like this. Yeah. Do it like this. Then you start praying. But before you start praying, you appreciate God first. Ask for forgiveness of sin. Then you ask for the mercy and favor of God that the Lord should grant you favor and mercy. And he should answer your prayer so that you're not going to do this spiritual work in vain. Physically, the odor of onion is very bad. But spiritually, it is worst. Just the odor, spiritually, it can cause confusion amongst your enemies it can cause battle this is what you are going to do you are going to command all your enemies that they should begin to smell that they should begin to stink that you are commanding a very bad offensive odor between them that they should start smelling they should start smelling and that smell should cause confusion between them that you are putting confusion into their midst by the power of the Lord, you are putting confusion into their midst. That the stench from their bodies should cause offensive odor and let it bring confusion into their midst. Oh Lord, I'm commanding offensive odor among them. Let them, let them begin to perceive offensive odor and let the odor bring confusion between them. Let them confuse and start to fight themselves. Let them confuse. Let them get confused and start to fight themselves. I'm going to tell the Lord that, Oh Lord, throw all my enemies into confusion. Oh Lord, throw all my unrepentant enemies into confusion. Oh Lord, let all my stubborn enemies suffer everlasting confusion that will not be forgotten. Oh Lord, cause great battle between my enemies. Oh Lord, I pray. Cause great battles between my enemies and let them get confused and start fighting. Oh Lord, cause great battle between my enemies. Confuse them so that they can stop tormenting me. Confuse them so that they can stop frustrating me. Confuse them so that they can stop causing havoc in my life. Oh Lord, put a language of confusion into their minds. Oh Lord, let my enemies be confused and let them start to fight each other so that I can have rest of mind. Oh Lord, let all my enemies be confused and let them start to fight each other so that I can have rest of mind. Oh Lord, I pray, let all my enemies flee away from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, you continue manifesting, you continue praying into the onion that the Lord should cause a great order between them, a stench that will cause misunderstanding between them, that the Lord should make them fight their self, that the Lord should put a language of confusion into their midst so that they will stop tormenting you, so that they will stop frustrating you. When you are done with your prayer, just put the onion inside a plastic bag and if you like, you can just leave it this way. Keep it anywhere you like. Let it rot in. As it rot in, they will keep on fighting. There will be a great confusion in their minds. The hatred among them will be getting stronger. It will be getting stronger every day by day. Then you can dispose it. And by so doing, the Lord has put confusion amongst your enemies. The Lord has put a language of confusion between them. They are going to fight and fight and fight and they will forget about you. That their strength that they usually use in battling with you, they will use it to battle against their self. And I pray with you as you attach your faith to this spiritual work that the Lord will put a great confusion in the midst of your enemies. Amen. That brings us to the end of today's video. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, subscribe now. Be part of this family by subscribing to this channel. Not only subscribing, put on the notification bell so that whenever I publish new videos, you'll be notified and you come and watch. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up so that other people can get to watch it. And don't forget to share this video. Till I come your way again in my next video, stay safe and remain blessed.